Major General Abdullah Shamal, Chief of Defense Forces, Maldives and National Defense Forces, Her Excellency Aishat Mohammed Didi, Ambassador of Maldives to India, members of the Maldivian delegation, Brigadier General Hamid Shafiq, Major Hassan Amir, Excellencies, members of IDS's Executive Council and the Indian Strategic Community, friends, good morning. We are truly delighted that uh, Major General Abdullah Shamal is here with us at IDSA today to deliver a talk on national security vulnerabilities, issues for small states. General Abdullah Shamal is a highly accomplished scholar, soldier who holds three master's degrees from eminent universities. Today happens to be his birthday. Please join me in wishing him many happy returns. The lecture today is part of our long-standing Eminent Persons Lecture Series. The theme is indeed pertinent and timely. We live in an age of great uncertainty. The global situation is characterized by a rising tide of nationalism, trade protectionism, and a battle for technological superiority. In Asia, new fault lines have surfaced with attempts to hardwire infrastructure and stamp strategic dominance. The Indo-Pacific represents the geoeconomic and geostrategic fusion of the two great oceans and the terrestrial space in between. Differences between regional and extra-regional powers are bubbling over, including in the sub-regional theaters of the Indo-Pacific. The Western Indian Ocean is of particular relevance to both India and the Maldives. Traditional and non-traditional security threats have grown in magnitude, and terrorism in particular poses a critical challenge to democracy, peace, and prosperity everywhere. The Easter Sunday attacks in Sri Lanka are a grim reminder of the amorphous and unpredictable nature of this scourge. Rising sea levels, piracy, marine pollution, drugs, weapons, and human trafficking, all these severely impinge on the national security of island countries like the Maldives. Many others face similar challenges, and this calls for greater collaboration among all states. Maldives is a virtual gateway to the Indian Ocean, straddling key lanes, key sea lanes of communication that are critical for trade and energy flows. Instability in the Indian Ocean can have enormous consequences for all of us. Historically, India has enjoyed close ties with the Maldives. My home state, Gujarat, in particular, had flourishing trade ties to the Maldives over millennia. India has supported Maldives' transition to democracy and has assisted in strengthening institutions on the basis of Maldives' priorities. India has provided vital support during times of crisis in 1988 and later during the tsunami in 2004 and the water crisis in 2014. And today, I dare say, we have in the audience here uh, members of the Indian Defense Forces who were in service in 1988 and were perhaps part of that. General Bhatia, were you part of that? I, was. I must acknowledge the presence of uh, General Nirbhai Sharma, uh, who is former governor uh, of a number of Indian states. He is also here, and, and Air Marshal Bhatia is also here. You must have perhaps served during that period and seen things for yourself. General Banerjee, you too. I may miss out a few, but please pardon me for not uh, going through the entire list of all the eminent uh, senior uh, defense persons who are present here today. India continues to be a very reliable development partner for the Maldives through multiple capacity building programs. A US dollars 800 million line of credit is part of the US dollars 1.4 billion financial package announced during President Soli's visit to India. And this has expanded the scope of our economic partnership. Uh, our neighborhood first policy and the emphasis on shared prosperity in the region complements Maldives' India first policy. Our ties are anchored in trust transparency, mutual understanding, and sensitivity to each other's concerns. We are now strengthening our defense and security ties through working together on maritime domain awareness, through coordinated patrolling, aerial surveillance, exchange of information. There's also a JWG on countering terrorism, violent extremism, and de-radicalization. A number of uh, joint exercises are also uh, being carried out, like ECTA, uh, there is Project Mossum, and there is also the Composite Training Center of the Maldives Defense Forces, the radar system, coastal surveillance, and so on and so forth. These are all new pillars 
of our security cooperation. Our trilateral maritime cooperation with Sri Lanka uh, enhances the scope of our maritime domain awareness and HADR operations. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, stronger India-Maldives ties can strengthen multipolarity in the Indo-Pacific region, and together we can build an open and inclusive strategic and economic architecture. We look forward to Major General Shamal sharing his thoughts with us today, and I now have the great pleasure of inviting him to please please deliver his lecture. Thank you. <laughs>